Hi, I'm Mark Middlebrook and I'm here in the Paul Marcus Wines Cantina or Wine Cellar and in this segment I'm going to talk about how to serve and enjoy Piemontese wines of various types. I've got three different Piemonte wines, Northwest Italy, and three different glasses. You don't need to have different glasses, but I'll explain why I might use them. Uh, white wine, of course you want to chill. You can just get it cold in the refrigerator. It doesn't need to be that cold when you drink it, but it will warm up in the glass or sit, the bottle sitting on the table. Um, I use a relatively small glass for white wines. Small pours, uh, frequent if you're uh, having a nice long party, works well with white wine. Uh, these are also good for everyday reds. There's nothing wrong with a glass this size. The main thing you want is to narrow at the top so you can swirl it around and enjoy the aromas of the wine. Um, this is a, a Bordeaux style glass. I use this a lot for, uh, for everyday red wines like Barbera and Dolcetto from Piemonte. Um, it's a good compromise between the, the smaller uh, glass for white wine and the, and the big big one here. For the more important wines from Piemonte, that is the wines based on Nebbiolo grapes, Barolo, Barbaresco, Doero, and things like that, I prefer to use a burgundy glass. This is a, a glass specifically designed for drinking Pinot Noir and red burgundy, uh, and it's designed to really uh, lift the aromatics out of the glass. Uh, Pinot Noir and Nebbiolo are both very aromatic grape varieties, so this glass works great. But if you don't have it, either of these two will, will work just fine. So you get out your bottle, um, you take the capsule off, top of the capsule off, which I've already done with this one, and get out your corkscrew, of course, if it's a cork. Open it up. If you're in Italy in a restaurant, often the server, the sommelier, will smell the cork just to detect any cork taint. You'll, if, if there is any problem with the cork, you'll smell it in the wine too, but this is like an early warning system. When you pour the wine, oh, by the way, red wine should be served cool, uh, certainly not cold, but not, not warm. Uh, red wine should always feel refreshing on the palate. If it's, if it's too warm, stick the bottle in the fridge for 10 minutes or so just to cool it down. Think cellar temperature, 60 to 65 degrees probably is ideal. But, you know, if it's a few degrees different, don't worry about it. So uh, pour uh, not too much in the glass. You really want to be able to swirl these guys around. It's part of the reason I'm having a wine glass like this. Enjoy those aromas. Aroma is, is at least half the pleasure of wine. And then, of course, you get to drink it, and that's the best part.